Welcome to the next level living, a little sample of what a meditation session is like. The next level living, what we're doing here is we're covering the prayers from patterns on the trestle board. We're in session number three here, and all I'm doing is explaining the prayer what it might mean, and then doing a meditation. I pulled this out of the meeting. It is a safe space, so what people shared and what they had to say and what they had to experience is between them. Enjoy experiencing the next level living. Patterns on the trestle board. Like, there we go. So we are now recording. So um, the next level living platform, what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about one of the statements, the prayers, if you will, from patterns on the trestle board. We've been covering them one by one every week. And we'll talk about what it might mean and then do a meditation around it and then talk about what we experienced during the meditation. When we're done with that, we're going to take a word from the conversation we had and commit to changing our life based on that word this week to, in order to integrate it. So the prayer today is, through me, its unfailing wisdom takes form in thought and word. And let me copy that and put that in the chat for all of us. Again, it's through me. Its unfailing wisdom takes form in thought and word. So what has happened is creation has begun. And this is how the world was created. It aligns with the Bible. And it is also what we do as creators ourselves to manifest. So we have this wisdom that comes in, this flash, this thought, if you will, that at the moment of the flash, we know something, but there's no understanding of what that is yet. So every choice that you make, everything you create, every result you have experienced, begin with this kind of idea. Like this, whether it's the gut feeling, whether it's a head feeling. I have a friend who gets tinglies in the back of her head. She says, when my, my scalp starts to get itchy, I know it's coming, <laughs> right? Everybody is, and when I see her start, I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's coming. So um, this thought, you now start to get curious. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Maybe what does it smell like? You have, or I have this moment of hope. Oh, knowing that something just happened. And if we look at where this is on the tree of life, if we look at where this is on our body physically, it is the left shoulder, right? And so it's part of the balance. Last week we talked about what's on the right shoulder. Basically now this is on the left shoulder and there's a balance, right? This is kind of the energy center where thought takes form and it's associated with the power of intuition. So it it's, comes from the pineal gland, but it shows up on your shoulder. Um, it comes through you, and it's a communion with the creator, right? So it's the, that wisdom, you now with the human form or the, this dimension is starting to commune with it. And it's your intuitive insight starts to begin. When you can feel it, it's the brilliant thought, that freshness that comes across you. Um, and for me, I get all excited. I, I, I start to anticipate there's something coming. There's something, I don't know what it is, but there's something coming. And I either allow it or if I get too excited, I might resist it and push it away. And I have to become a little bit aware of what that means. So think about this particular saying through me it's unfailing unfailing wisdom always right on perfect for 
me and for you takes form it starts to actually take form in thought and word so i want you to gently close your eyes or softly stare ahead i'm going to shut off my camera for a moment and i want you to breathe in deeply and as you breathe in, I want you to think of what that wisdom, that unfailing wisdom might actually be. And as you exhale, just relax and feel the area around your pineal gland decalcify and clear up. Breathe in, it's unfailing wisdom and breathe out and watch that part of your brain get clarity and relax breathe in and out at your own pace and as you do feel the muscles in your face relax the tension in your jaw might give way your neck muscles unclench and think of how potentiality the potential lies within you your imagination takes form this is the beginning from which everything else derives this is the thought before the word and it's where it all begins for you here is where wisdom comes through and it begins as a flash of inspiration sometimes when you least expect it and before you filter it through your beliefs biases stories and emotions it is pure it's intuition before evaluation and judgment this is wisdom before limiting thoughts are introduced this is pure truth and as you sit within this moment you're still out of space and time free flying directly from your source not yet manifested the freedom of all that could be shows up for you here as you learn to hone this skill you lean into your intuition and you find the power of intuitive insight and your ability to extract ideas from your super conscious from source from god and direct it into consciousness intentionally you're actually in the zone you're focused your brilliant solutions take place through you and you begin to understand the meaning of i you have learned to identify with it not only as the i am but that the i am this wisdom is you the truth of who you are becomes evident and the more you trust this and the more you quietly listen and the more you are able to identify with your source self you become more and more powerful as you experience the limitless light which is the wisdom from intuitive source this wisdom implies that you have the ability to look deeply 
at some aspect of reality and abstract its conceptual essence. And in this process, you uncover its underlying truth. You are the chemist. You are the magician. You are the power that can take that flash of thought and alchemize this truth. In this process, thought takes form from truth, in truth, and into truth. This is the power that is you. Take a deep breath in. And as you do that, those emotions, those feelings, those vibrations, feel them throughout your body. Breathe out. And gently open your eyes. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your nose, and come on back if you want to, <laughs> or stay if you so wish, um, into this no thing still, but yet the beginning of thought, the beginning of creation. Well, thank you so much for listening to this small piece of what goes on with the next level living. And I invite you to come join me sometime in the next group of sessions, elevating yourself and learning a little bit more about who and what you are. <laughs>